You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father and... The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Try <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more White Lake... Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try... There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the... You have root of sacred Datura? These roots made sacred vision tea. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This is your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. <laughs> Yeah, we with you. Yeah, yeah, you.
Really? You think so? Who? I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Someone there. Now you. No. Went in. 
to save him. Only one came out. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The Courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the Sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the Valley's former inhabitants. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find the new Canaanites, but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands, leaving Zion Valley a polluted sister. Daniel evacuated the Sorrows from Zion, but due to the courier's neglect, the White Legs butchered many along the way. Those who survived barely reached Grand Staircase, but once there, the dead horses and new Canaanites helped them settle. The unfamiliarity of their new surroundings and the loss of loved ones evoked a terrible and lasting grief among the Sorrows. For two generations, Many would die still lamenting the loss of Zion. Having revered Joshua Graham as a living legend for so many years, the dead horses found it difficult to accept his death. New Canaanite missionaries sought to remain in contact with the tribe, but lacking Joshua's authority, their influence dwindled. Still, as an expression of enduring respect for their lost spiritual leader, the dead horses helped protect the lands where new Canaanites settled. As generations passed, the dead horses came to worship a spirit of the land, a harsh spirit of divine justice. They called it Joshua. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition, the fate of new Canaan and the evacuation of the Sorrows from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee The Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails caravan company could not survive on such trading alone. But the new Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chuck had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. After a long and troubled life, Joshua Graham finally found rest in Zion. In the end, his unswerving militancy had accomplished what the NCR's finest sharpshooters and Caesar's wrath could not. The new Canaanites took comfort in the belief that their brother's soul would again dwell in Zion at the end of days. After leading the Sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family. But for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. All things considering, boys, I think uh, we ended that pretty well. 
The reason I got them boys out of there rather than fighting is because those white leg killers were tough. Very tough. We left them alone and they eventually dwindled out and probably got bored and killed themselves out of boredom. Looted each other. Tore each other alive. We blocked them in that barren land and it's now a cesspool. All things considered, I think it ended pretty well. We got all the DLC things that we could have gotten out of there. I got a lot of caps in my inventory. A little over encumbered right now, but that's okay. Tune in next time. Peace.